Now that lithium batteries are becoming the norm in either mobile devices and phones, power stations or leisure batteries, have you got the right fire protection? Keep watching to see what we have gone for to keep our van and family safe. Don't forget to check out our other videos on everything camper van and motorhome related, from solar to water, heating to gadgets, tyres to trips. If you like this video, please do hit the thumbs up. It really does help me to know what you like, and you can ask any questions or give feedback in the comments. If you want to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos, please hit the subscribe button and clicking the bell will give you a notification when a new video goes live. Finally, if you do decide to hit the thumbs down, it would be great if you could also leave a comment so I'd know what you didn't like. After being witness to a caravan fire whilst on a site a few years ago, fire protection and safety is often at the forefront of our mind. One thing it made us do is set a calendar reminder each year to do a fire safety audit of our van, where we check everything that helps to keep us safe. This includes a thorough check and vacuuming out our smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors and checking our fire extinguishers. This year we realised that the number of items with lithium batteries that we have in the van from small devices like phones and tablets, USB power packs, larger jump starts, solar power stations and even leisure batteries have dramatically increased and was something we'd not previously put much thought into. Lithium batteries burn very hot and aggressively and are difficult to extinguish. Up until now, our fire protection equipment consisted of a dry powder fire extinguisher, a Fex foam fire extinguisher, and a fire blanket. None of which are tested on lithium fires. So we went on a hunt for what would help should the worst happen. After a bit of hunting, we found what appears to be an ideal fire extinguisher produced by Fire XO, which is approved for all common types of fires and lithium batteries. Here you can see that the Fire XO extinguisher is approved for combustible materials like paper and wood, flammable liquids like petrol and paint, flammable gases like butane or methane, flammable metals like magnesium or aluminium, electrical equipment, cooking oils and fats, and lithium ion batteries. And here you can see a comparison with other common types of extinguisher. They're available in a range of sizes and we chose to go with the two litre, which although it's going to be a little bit harder to store, we felt would give us an extra discharge time compared to the smaller 500 milliliter model and currently on Amazon it's very reasonably priced. We've included a link in the notes. You can see it in action on the Fire XO website along with all the technical specs and testing certification. Whilst getting out as quickly as possible in the event of a fire has to be the best advice. We feel that we're a little bit better equipped with the Fire XO added to what we have when it comes to safety of the van and our family. So we think it really is worth it. Thanks for watching our video and as always, if you have any questions or feedback, please pop them in the comments below. If you find the video useful, please like, share and consider subscribing.